All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is my first time ever doing a commentary here on Resident Evil 4 playthrough on Professional. Now, I don't have a script. I don't have any of that. This is just going to be me expressing how I feel during the gameplay. All right. So I do apologize if this is cringe or if I keep repeating myself from time to time. I've never, ever, never in a million years, as a matter of fact, would I imagine that people would actually want to hear me talk over some gameplay. But here we are. Regardless, I want to say thank you to all of you guys who are showing support on my videos and my transition to different types of content. You know, not just pure reavers. And like I said, I want to say thank you, thank you to all of you who are obviously helping with that and supporting me because it really does mean a lot. Regardless of the numbers that I pull, I'm still going to finish this series and all the other videos that I plan to do in the foreseeable future. So, without further ado, let's go. I think this is it. <clears throat> yeah, this is the load right here. Alright. Get these barrels over here. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a completionist. Like, I love to get everything. When it comes to any game whatsoever. I don't care if the barrel is empty. And I know it's always going to be empty 10 out of 10 times. I'm still going to knife it. Because that's just who I am. Got that snake. You know when I was little. <clears throat> I used to always fall for that little snake trap. But not no more boy. Not no more. Alright let's go to the merchant. Gonna upgrade some weapons for sure. I kind of want to keep this shoddy though, not going to lie, I kind of want to keep it. I just, I know it's not as powerful as the other two shotguns that we're going to get in the playthrough, but I don't know, something about this pump action is just so satisfying. Welcome. <clears throat> Got some wreck. What are you buying? I'm for sure going to get a bigger case. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I was struggling in previous playthroughs, if you guys saw them, with... The amount of space I had in my cases, so of course I'm gonna get this one. The black tail. I love the standard pistol, so I'm gonna keep it in this playthrough. What are you bought? <laughs> what are you selling? Scroll down for a little bit faster. Ah. Ah. Is that? Is that? Alrighty. Ah. Thank you. What are you buying? Ah, I'm a little torn, boys. Like I kind of want to sell it, but I kind of don't. Like, look at that. Like four compared to five. Like, I don't know. Oh, let me mute the mic really quickly. I'm going to burp. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm just hesitant. I'm gonna keep the pump action. What are you buying? I just like it more. <laughs> Thank you. Some of you might be L take or whatever, what but selling? hey, I like the pump action, bro. That gun is that gun is lit. Ah, I <laughs> what are definitely gonna sell that rifle. Get the semi. What are you buying? <laughs> nice. Come back at any time. <clears throat> Alright, well we got that. Might have to organize the inventory a little bit. We'll go ahead and use that egg. Was completely unnecessary, but that's just how I am once again. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Let's throw this sniper on really quickly. Man, this game still holds up. Even though the remake dropped like a couple of weeks ago, I still think original RE5, I mean RE4 still holds up in my opinion. Line it up. Didn't line it up, boys. That's an L right there. That's an L from your boy Noel right there. That is an L in fact. Can you hit this shot? Or am I faded for that take? Oh, you can hit it. Ha! Got him. You, you know, you learn a thing or two from watching people speedrun this game, you know what I'm saying? 
You know, I'm not the brightest, but I learned I learned a couple things. Uh okay. Yo. Oh, I forgot you can tell her to wait. Is that gonna hit me? Bastards. That's gonna hit me. Oh, it's not. Nice. I keep thinking I'm gonna get hit by this big ass flaming rock, but it doesn't happen. I'm pretty happy I didn't get hit. There's nothing worse than when you end runs on anything, really, even if it's just a casual playthrough. By getting hit by that stupid rock. Because I'm trying to do a run with zero deaths and no resets. It's not hard to do at all whatsoever, but it's just when you're being an idiot half the time like I am, it is pretty hard. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, pistols are alright. Someone's back here. Should take a while for him to get up here, so. Get this elimination up here. Oh, uh, can I angle this up? There's wait. <laughs> Suplex that motherfucker. Another thing, I'll. I'll I'll say what I was going to say after I get the, through this part really quickly, boys. Bastard. Nice. Golden Bangle. I think we're pretty much done on this section. Follow me. Tell Ashley to follow us really quickly. You already know that spam click simulator. You already know the vibes. weapon. Alright, what I was going to say originally, before, you know, this very ambient soundtrack was playing, is the r main reason I really don't do commentaries is obviously because I've never done them before, but not just because of that reasoning. Half the time, it's very, very loud in my house, and I don't want to have all that unnecessary background noise, you know, in the background during these commentary videos. That's why I was hesitant and both skeptical at making these type of videos with commentary because nobody wants to hear unnecessary background noise for whatever reason at all. Because trust me, I wouldn't want to see it. You guys most definitely wouldn't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And out of respect for my viewers and obviously for myself because maybe if there's some like unnecessary, uh, ridiculous amount of noise in the background, like I said... Don't want to have that. But yeah. That's the main reasoning. But right now, it's quiet in the house. Nobody's home. You know, took a chance and let's get this commentary done. And this gameplay through. That way, we at least have one or a handful amount of gameplays with commentary. Alright. Just wanted to, you know, put that out there. Just clear the water a little bit. To some of my viewers who... If you guys think I'm lazy, that's why I didn't want to do commentaries. No, I have very, very good reasons. Uh, good reasons for me not to do commentary videos. But right now, rare occasion where the house is uh, completely empty and I'm able to do this, I'll take advantage of it. Sorry for rambling. <laughs> like I said, this is uh, just how I am, boys. And I did say at the beginning I would repeat myself quite a bit. So once again, my apologies. I mean, look at that fire rate. Look at that fire rate. I'm gonna take out the TMV for sure. Oh, 
Come here, Ashley, get out of the way! Poor bastard. all of them. I think there's one more up there. There might be one more up there. He's usually hugging like the right side of the fucking uh, point of interest. Never mind. They all came towards me. Alright. I think this chapter is not relatively that long, but it can be if you move slow. Alright, organize the inventory a little bit. Um, this cutscene was corny, so I'm gonna let Leon. it play out. <laughs> Lewis, I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. I mean, that... I don't know. That's still kind of kind of a cringe moment, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. But kind of, you know. Also, Luis did not get enough love in original RE4. Like, he should have been a playable Mercenaries character. Of course, RE4 Remake improved upon that significantly. And he's a playable Mercenaries character. But, I don't know. In Mercenaries, I feel like he's a little bit underwhelming. Right? That's just my opinion. Obviously, I don't play the game religiously, like Mercenaries mode, enough to say that he's good or not good. But to me, he just feels so slow, sluggish, and underwhelming. I know he's a scientist, so it makes sense why he's uh, that way in terms of physicality. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. I just, I just feel like he's a little bit underpowered, in my opinion. I feel like the, the Red Nine was a cool addition to, add to, his, to his arsenal. The bolt action sniper, I feel like would have something that would have fit him a little bit better. Maybe the uh, like a shotgun or something like that. But then you know, obviously the whole situation with Leon having a sniper, a shotgun, and all that. But I feel like Lewis should have had a shotgun instead of that bolt action. Just my opinion, like I said. Wait. All right. Sorry for rambling too long, boys. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Also, there's been so many times where I tried to parry enemies here on, uh, here on RE4, uh, 2005. Like, if you go, bo go back to the old game to play it, you'll probably experience the same thing. Like, I'm always trying to parry enemy hits and just getting fucking owned. Bastards. Of course. Oh, no! Bitch. All right, glad that's over with. Excuse me. Got one more right here. A little headshot snipe, some light. All righty. Can we line it up? No, we can't. Yeah, but have any of you guys uh, gone back to play RE4 from 2005? Like, the original RE4? If so, like, me personally, I like switching 
between games, you know? Oh shit, I forgot about this part. I thought I was gonna be rudely interrupted by these zealots. Come here, bitch. I mean, that reload is crazy. But as I was saying before these bastards decided to interrupt my dialogue, like if you like personally I like to go back to the to this game and the remake and just spot little differences, right? That's some nerd shit right there. Trust me, that is some nerd shit. I know it is. But that's just what I like to do sometimes. And some people might say that this game is outdated, right? Like RE4 Remake just improves upon significantly. They both have their flaws in their own way. I just really enjoy the cheesy dialogue that this game has to offer. Uh, not only that, I don't, I'm don't. i not a fan of RE4 Remake, how it inverted some of the sections instead of like improving upon them in a way, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, they could have added more... They could. It could have just been a little bit more different, a little bit cooler. Like, something actually unique in a way in some of the sections i don't like the whole invert this section make it seem like it's new but it's actually just the same section but the other way around you know what i'm saying that's just how i feel personally uh, let me know your guys' opinions as well because i'd love i love to talk about this stuff and just having people around that love to speak about things that i'm uh that i enjoy and i'm passionate about it's just really awesome you know what i'm saying but yeah, bros, like I said, that's just my opinion. Now we got this ugly fuck. I mean, look at him. He's a fucking rat. Literally. I'm starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. Is that right, Mr. Scott? Ah, oh, man. A little bit too far behind for this one. Right there. Boom. Got it. All right course closing that up smart smart uh, a velvet blue Garador boss fight coming up bros it's really easy on re4 2005 versus re remake uh, especially on pro this is like a walk in the park It'll get a little bit more complicated once you get to double Garador. That's going to be a little bit more annoying. You know what I'm saying? There should be something in here. No? I think it's this one then. It, no? Really? Wow. I thought there would be something in there. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've done a playthrough of RE4 Professional on, to, you know, RE4 2005. It's been a while, so. Might be a little bit rusty. I'm obviously rusty, but in terms of knowledge a little bit as well. I'm not picking up any of the like files because I obviously read them all. But if you guys are interested, I could also do a full commentary video of me reading all of the files from RE4. I'd be down to do something like that. That's just if you guys would obviously want to watch something like that. That'd just be like a story time narrator type thing. But yeah, let me know. Tell her to wait there. Go down here. Should be shotgun shells somewhere around here. Well, they're right here, but I meant to say green herb. 
Sniper or shotgun? I think we're gonna use a sniper. Holy shit. Ah, oh, damn it, I fucked it up. See, when you mess up, bros, this is what happens. So don't mess up whenever you get to this section. Okay, well. Nice. Well, could have been better, but I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that. Get this shotgun out. Actually, we don't even need the shotgun. We just use the pistol here. Follow me. Pistol whip a little bit of these fuckers. I don't know. They, I don't know where you're going, boy. Little roundhouse kick. Back to back. Here. Nice. Little dynamite action over here. Don't mind if I do. TMP for sure right here. Nice. Been getting a very overwhelming amount of generous ammunition. Especially from Sniper. I mean, I literally have like 31 bullets, bro. That's crazy. Alright. Alright, so first things first. Missed. Game over, bitch. I'll just use a nade here. So the fuck are you going? Still not dead. Fuck it, which way tell him to get out? I mean, come on. I hate these annoying cutscenes. Duck, bitch. Been a fair amount of treasure so far. Don't mind if I do. I'll gobble that right up. Nice direct shot. I wish I could hit more direct shots just like that. Instead of just mindlessly spamming ammunition. Doesn't happen as often with the whole critical rate, but it happens sometimes. And when it does, boy is it satisfying. What do we have in the reserve? Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and knock this out right here. Okay. Knife him, fuck it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Well, that was pretty damn good, if I had to say so myself. Ha!
no ammo for TMP. That's a bummer. You know, whenever I first saw speedrunners do this room, it was like so crazy. Like, I obviously respect everyone's personal craft, like, you know, uh, speedrunners, pro players, content creators. I respect everyone's craft, right? If you're passionate about something, I just think that's fucking awesome, right? Because a lot of people like to stick to the norm with other things, like you can't make money or you can't make a living off of anything else besides just working a 9 to 5, you know? Like, that's how my parents are. And it's not their fault. They were raised that way. So I completely understand uh, why they have that uh, norm. So. But it's just awesome to see, like, a lot of people make an overwhelming amount of money off of something they love. Something they've been passionate about. And something that they've always believed in. I don't know. Stuff like that really just motivates me to keep going in every aspect of life. Not just in making content, but just anything. Because it really shows the perseverance that a human being has in terms of never wanting to give up. Never giving in, you know? That's like the indomitable human spirit right there. Showcasing its greatness. Literally. Sorry I got all motivational out of nowhere. But, like I said, stuff like that just makes anyone, anyone happy for that matter, in my opinion. Because it's just so awesome to see. Remember, boys, if you don't laugh, you cry. Man, I really need more ammunition for my pistol. Fuck it, Ashley, you do it. I'm over here saving your ass. Using all my valuable ammo. You gotta do something at least. Shit. <laughs> I knew I should have pulled out the shotgun. Holy shit, bro, damn! I just go, went to my inventory. Oh, that was a nasty shot right there. I don't care, I'll use my shotgun shells. Hey, yo! Get closer, get closer, bitch. Laga. I'll go right in there. Come on. Debra. You see what I mean? Like, it's really tricky when it comes to these enemies. They literally are like bullet sponges half the time. Wait. I'm gonna get this first aid spray. I think it's on the other side, but I'm still gonna get whatever's in here. I don't care. It's right here, never mind. Made a good judgment call. Alright, let's get it. I'm not even going to go over there on the right side. Look, there's a crank over there. Wow, really, Ashley? I didn't even see that. Gee, what would I do without you? I think that's pretty much it to get into this room. course that's what they pay my bro to do <laughs> we got a lot of ammo so we can waste a good amount here although i hate missing with the sniper i cannot stand it it's probably because i used to play a lot of call of duty oh no oh no i whiffed twice twice boys yo I mean, if that's not bad RNG right there, I don't know what is. See, this is the type of shit that happens to me on these type of playthroughs. And it always is going to happen, because that's just my luck half the time. And I don't even... Man, it was embarrassing that I whiffed two times on those easy targets, right? We got some over here. Not today, not today, not today. Come here, come here. Got him. It's like I said, it's been a while, so... If I whiff, I whiff. You're turning? Plaga? Nah. 
Oh my god, bro. It, bro it's because I keep thinking they're gonna go a certain way, but they go the other way, bruh. That is so infuriating. Fuck you, asshole. We got some over here. Come on, get done, Ashley. We gotta go, bro. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I literally shot the fucking toe, but okay. That happens a lot in RE4 remake as well. Like, I think I have an angle, but I really don't. Damn. I'm actually so annoyed I missed that many sniper shots. I mean, that's just crazy. Reload the shotgun. Little 12 shells in the gauge. You guys already know. Boom, 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 boom. Come here. You baited. Oh, you baited me too. You, you can wait, Ashley. Let me finish this fight real quick. Where are you going, Leon? Bro, please. Hurry, Leon. Kill this fucker. I don't want to hear that again. That's the worst thing you would hear. Yeah. Alright. We're basically done with this chapter, boys. Like I said, I would continue into a longer episode, but... I think this is where we're gonna have to end it. Let's go over here. Get all these collectibles really fast. Of course, there's one gemstone right here, or spinel. My bad, spinel. People call them spinels. Pretty sure it's, I don't know if it's pronounced, but I think it's called, pronounced spinels. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that one, Chief. But I could be wrong. But I also could be right. Hand grenade. Nice. Man, grenades, bro. Grenades are everything, really. <laughs> They're so useful, so versatile. That's why half the time, like on the playthrough on Professional, on RE4 Remake, I'm really hesitant on when to use my grenades. Even though I haven't even done a playthrough on Pro. I've only done it on Hardcore, and it was a bloody nightmare. And that's me being completely honest. I'm not even capping. We'll play this cutscene out. You all right? Just for the outro, fuck it. Ashley, wait! This is literally the best trap ever. I mean, have a little incident with coughing up blood, run all the way to the back. It's not like that'll trap you in or anything, right? It's not noticeable, you know what I mean? Bye. Look what Leon, Leon's gonna say. Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Yeah, she can totally hear you, Kennedy. Next, we got Novi's. Novi's 1, and then we have Novi's 2 later on. So, that's something you guys want to look forward to. By all means, hit that like button, subscribe, and if you're new around here, don't be afraid to ask for certain requests in terms of what you would like to see in terms of content creation. That being certain gameplays, different gameplays for other games, mercenaries, raid mode, reverse, you let me know. If you guys have any challenge runs, let me know as well. I am down to post whatever you guys would like to view for y'all's enjoyment. And yeah. Anyways, bros, if you enjoy this type of content, please leave a like, comment down below what you think, as well as subscribe for Daily Reavers, Mercenaries, and Raid Mode content, as well as playthroughs for any single player game. Later.